XD has this great feature called Repeat Grid. And so what we're going to do here is build something and then you can see how that works. So I'm going to start off by tapping R to get the rectangle tool. I'm just going to click and draw a rectangle like so. I'm just going to back off a little bit from the middle of the artboard there. Change the color. And of course, there was more on drawing in the previous movie uh, of XD Week. So I've just changed the opacity of that. And actually, I'm going to just change the border color just here, make that a little bit lighter like so. So let's pinch and zoom in on that just to get a better view of that. And then I'm going to draw another rectangle just about here, which is going to actually house some content. So I'm going to just round off those corners just a little bit there maybe. And thinking about it, if I switch it out to the selection tool here, I'm going to do the same just there as well, just to round those out just a bit. And I'll change the fill color of this. So I'll just drop that down there. And that's what's going to hold uh, the image content. Take the stroke off. Now I've got this graphic that I bought in earlier and also on my clipboard I've got something I'm just going to paste in from Illustrator. So I'll bring that up here. Now we'll add a couple of things that just needs to come in slightly I think from there like so. Just bring that in just a little bit. There we are. That's great. Uh, let's get some text. So I'll tap T for the type tool and then I'll just click over here and type um, park location or park name just there and hit the uh, escape key on my keyboard to come out of that and bring this down like so and you can see here that I can change the typeface that's being used so we'll just make this fairly uh, simple uh, just here we'll go for something like Ariel there we go that will do at 20 that's just fine and we'll make that bold I think just there too and that's great, the colour's fine for that, and we could add other things like a description, but for now, that's just great. So I'm going to select all of those things, and then group them. If I needed to make a change, I can actually just double-click the item to go into that, and even if I move it, you can see that it'll actually make the size of the group larger. So it is still part of the group. But that's fine just for now. Let's just zoom out a touch here so we can see the whole artboard and I'll click on this and then turn this into a repeat grid and you can see it just makes a special sort of other group with it so if I bring this out like so just to change that now I'm going to change the gutter by just moving and mousing down there and just bringing that out like so to modify that and you can nudge that around just a bit too and now I'll drag that down and it will change the repeat grid like so. So that's kind of nice that you can draw a grid that way very, very quickly. Okay, but what's even better is that you can populate it very quickly too. If I just swap out so you can see a finder window that I've got here. I've got a whole bunch of different images. If I just show you a couple of those just by previewing them, you can see there's some images just there. And I can just drag those in and show it which part of the group it needs to go into and you'll see it populates all of those things in one go. I've got a few duplicates in there in fact I didn't drag in enough to populate that but you get the idea. Not only that I can do that with text you'll see here I've got a text file and I've got a range of names here of US national parks I can just drag the text file in and say where that's going to go and it populates all of those in one go as well. So it's very, very fast. And I'll tell you something else that's very fast. It's how you can build out a prototype, which is what we'll be looking at in the next movie.